A solid uniform sphere rolls without slipping along a horizontal surface. It then rolls without slipping up an incline, goes up to a maximum height, and then rolls without slipping back down. Draw a force diagram for each of these locations when it's rolling on a horizontal surface, when it's on its way up the incline, and on its way down. Is there friction or not, you may ask? That can be a tricky question, but let's find out. Let's look at the sphere that's rolling without slipping up the incline first. In the previous lesson, we could use a dot to represent the sliding block and draw the forces from the dot. For the sphere, there is rotation involved. In order to deal with torque, we have to draw forces at the points of application. There is gravitational force acting on the sphere. We would draw mg from the center of mass. There is normal force from the contact point. So we would draw normal force from where the sphere touches the incline. Right there. And that's the normal force, perpendicular to the incline. What about friction? Which way do you think friction would go? Oftentimes, students would say since the ball rose up the incline, friction would go down the incline. So let's draw friction from the contact point down the incline. I'm going to use a pencil first. So that is the friction. As the ball rose up the incline, it slows down in both translational and rotational motion. In order for its counterclockwise angular velocity to decrease, there must be an opposite direction clockwise angular acceleration. Do you see any torque that can produce this clockwise angular acceleration? mg goes through the center of the sphere. Normal force also goes through the center of the sphere. So neither of these two can produce any torque on the sphere. Friction does not go through the center of the sphere, but if friction goes down the incline, the torque friction produces would be a counterclockwise torque. So this must not be right. It turns out that friction has to go up the incline. So why does the friction go up the incline even though the sphere is rolling up the incline? What kind of friction is this? The sphere rolls without slipping. No slipping means uh, no sliding motion between the two surfaces, which means that the friction is not kinetic friction, it is static friction. Static friction is against the tendency to slide. In which direction does the sphere have a tendency to slide on this incline? It has a tendency to slide down the incline because there's the mg sine theta pulling on the sphere down the incline. That's why the static friction is against the tendency of the sphere to slide down the incline. Now let's look at the force diagram for this one. mg acts at the center of mass. Normal force starts from the contact point right there, perpendicular to the incline. Friction. Which way do you think friction goes now? Which direction angular acceleration does the sphere have? And in which direction does the sphere have a tendency to slide? When the sphere rolls down the incline, it rolls in a clockwise direction and it should pick up speed. That means uh, its angular acceleration should be clockwise. And uh, the sphere on the incline has a tendency to slide down the incline because of the mg sine theta going down the incline. So friction would go up the incline. So friction produces a clockwise torque, which can give us a clockwise angular acceleration. Now let's look at the sphere on the horizontal surface. mg goes straight down from the center of mass. Normal force acts at the contact point going straight up. What about friction? Again, in which direction does the sphere have angular acceleration and in which direction does the sphere have a tendency to slide? 
The sphere on the horizontal surface has no tendency to slide. There is no force pulling it to the right or to the left. The sphere with the initial velocity would continue to travel at the constant velocity on the horizontal surface. It does not have an angular acceleration, so there is no friction. What if I say there is a friction to the right because the sphere is traveling to the left? Let's see. This friction to the left would provide a leftward acceleration which would make the sphere roll slower and slower. But at the same time, this friction would provide a counterclockwise torque, making the sphere roll faster and faster in the counterclockwise direction. So this is not possible. What if I say the friction goes to the left so that it can produce a clockwise torque, making the ball roll slower and slower in the counterclockwise direction? That part is possible, but this friction to the left would make the speed, the linear speed, increase because it will produce an acceleration that is in the same direction as the velocity. So this does not work either. There is no friction. So when an object rolls without slipping on a horizontal surface, there is no friction acting on it. Even if the surface texture is rough, even if the mu s is not zero. When we multiply the mu s by the normal force, what we get is the maximum possible friction. The real friction can be less, and in this case, the real friction is zero. Now let's look at these two. Whether the sphere is rolling without slipping up or down the incline, the force diagrams are exactly the same. If we write force and torque equations for the sphere for both of these, we would get exactly the same thing. They would both have exactly the same down the incline acceleration and the clockwise angular acceleration. So if a sphere rose without slipping up an incline to a maximum height and then rose back down, the whole up and down trip would be constant acceleration and a constant angular acceleration motion. So it's like this block sliding up and down a frictionless incline or something that's tossed straight up, it goes up and then down in the absence of air resistance. The upward trip and the downward trip, they are symmetric. So for a sphere that rolls up and down the incline without slipping, if it takes three seconds to go up, it would take three seconds to come back down. Three seconds, three seconds. And if it starts out with a certain speed, it will come back down at the same speed. Same for the angular speed.